this hour. Word of God this hour. You do not follow King Saul in everything. Are you saying he's not anointed? Were you there when God called him? You're on your own. When he tells his soldiers, kill these priests of God, they refuse. It was an Edomite, Dweg also, that killed them. They refused. They disobeyed him. We can't touch the priests of God. Even if it will cost your life. You do not follow a man whom God has raised to bring victories in the in, in the land of God. You don't follow him into his error. This is what so many are doing in the millions around the world. Oh, you don't know what God has done through this man of God for me. God bless him. But you should have stopped following him. When his time came to an end, his time misbehaving, his season to shine had moved on. But pride won't let him step aside. He has to keep standing in the limelight. And that's when they start goofing. That's when wonderful servants of God who have a track record of being used by God for all sorts of things start doing all sorts of things. And because you lack understanding, you follow them and say things like, do you know more than him? I know enough to know that the Bible is saying, said you should make no idol. You should have no image, nothing representing God. I know enough. So when someone carries something and says, this represents, and you start, you have learned nothing. You have not learned. And the judgments that happen to those people will happen to you too. And when you stand and say, why is God allowing us to suffer like this in Nigeria? What about all your idolatry? Are you sure you're righteous? What about all your idolatry? What about your disregard for the word of God? No, I respect the word. No, you disregard the word. How, why do you say that? Oh, I saw how you refused to agree to something another preacher said for 22 years until your papa said it. Then you suddenly agreed. Isn't it obvious you don't worship God? You worship man. No, it's not like that. I didn't understand. No, no, sir. No, sir. Stop. You're an idolater. You just think it's God you're worshiping. You fo- you're a follower of men. Didn't someone show you in the scripture or try to show you in the scripture before? You refuse to even see it. The moment your man of God came and said, I've been wrong about tithing. Bah! You, you adjusted. What kind of business is that? Why were you not? Why didn't you know it before? Don't you have a Bible? You couldn't know it because you don't follow the spirit of truth. You follow a man and you believe wherever he goes must be God. So the moment he stops, you stop. The moment he, he goes wrong, if he goes right, you go right. If he goes left, you go left. I repeat, idolatry abounds in the people of God in Nigeria. And then you're wondering why your prayers seem not to be heard. Have you not read what happens with idolatry? Read from Genesis. Okay, if it's too much, read from the book of kings read read how god feels about idols amongst his people and read what he does to idols he pulls them down he pulls them down so when they goof and you say oh how could stop speaking against that man of god because they pull down your idol why did you make them idols they were to be examples to the believers models but the moment what they are modeling is ungodly you do not follow them you do not to that degree you do not and if you see they keep erring stop following them thank god for how much they have led you thank god for saul the king and leave and go to david in the wilderness in the cave it's time to find david saul's time is up if you follow saul you will die at the hand of the philistines